Happy yes. Friday, everyone. Here we go. Are we good? Or no, it's Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. Are we on? Yeah, we're on. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice wave of the hand. Let me get rid of my six-foot stick. Hey, it's Wednesday. I got to remember that. <laughs> yes, Happy it is. Wednesday, everybody. Hey, we'll call it Festool Wednesday. Welcome to Festool Live Special Edition because it's about the limited edition today. All right. So, once again, I want to get going. Big D is right here. We're going to call out the crew in the room. Big D, hey. he's on the board. Right here is Chris Seibert. We have Minnie on the whiteboard as usual. There you go, babe. And we have Brent online answering your questions. The one and only. Capiche? Capiche. All right. So, we loved it last week, even after the live uh, last Friday. You guys were telling us where you're from. This is important because we love to call you out. So thank you. Uh, let's also, what else? Oh, oh special acknowledgement today. Uh, I called out service department last week. I want to call out the warehouse and logistics. The real heroes. The shippers. We want to thank you because they are the real heroes. They're, we got container after container coming in from our manufacturing facility in Germany, and we're getting it out to you as quick as can be. Okay. If I forget, happy Thanksgiving, U.S. All right. Now, woo, okay, this is, Chris always has me say this. Do not, who? Chuck, Chuck Teague, how are you? All right, so subscribe to the YouTube channel, hit the notification bell. Everybody on YouTube says that, right? Okay, good. And also, it's going to live on Instagram right away and also Facebook. Okay, enough of that. So I mentioned something. It's called Limited Edition. And these are coming out Black Friday, which is whew, a couple days away, right? It's this Friday. I'm going to tell you, you better get these because these are going away. All right? And when I say Limited Edition, I've always coached people over the years, get it when it's hot. All right? All right. So this is, let's zoom in here, and many you can erase everything there. I have to word this right. <laughs> these are the Installation Organizer Sets. We have metric and we have imperial. So when you look at the first, you know, look at the top. Chris, come up here. Let's get a top view, okay? That they are. I everybody's asking a question. What is coming in the sets? All right. So the top part here with all the drivers, okay? They are identical. Remember that from my cousin Finney? Identical. All right. But I'm gonna go through it so you can see. On each of them, you got a Posi Drive 2, all right, Posi Drive number 2. You got a Phillips number 1, 2, and 3. Okay, you got a Torx 25. You got, for, you got nut drivers, okay. You got a quarter inch. You got a 5 16 It's all called out here a 3 8 Now, this one's the one that was confusing to me. It says SC, SZ, 3 5. Look. It's a slotted screwdriver, okay? You get two sizes, and I'll just pull that out, okay? And we're gonna, I'm going to go through a few things with these. And what's wicked cool is you get a, a number two square drive, okay? But if you're in Canada, it's a Robertson's. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, okay. Now, as I take these out, woo look what's in the bottom, this is the difference between the two. You got Imperial, okay? You got Imperial hex set, you got Imperial wrenches, and you get an Imperial adjuster, adjustable wrench. Now, what's cool, they all have the name Fest Tool on it, and here you have, okay, and you can see the sizes. I'll just call them out really quick. Look, you get a quarter inch, and by the way, this one's wicked important. I'll show you why in a few minutes. You get a 5 16 a 3 8 a 7 16 and a half inch. On the metric side, okay, you get the metric hex keys, and I, I love this set. They're ball, ball ended on the long arm, and just regular on the short arm. That's important, okay? But you get an 8 millimeter, a 10 millimeter, a 13 millimeter, a 17 millimeter, and a 19 millimeter. Now, here's what's really nice about them, okay? You get the open end, but these are geared, okay? So forward and flip it over, you got reverse. I'm going to tell you, watch this. And we'll start here. I'm going to grab the 10 millimeter. Say you're in a tight spot, right? And you got to get that. Look, look how thin that is. And you got to get it in there. And check this out. Look, I got to adjust this. Uh, 
I got to loosen this up or tighten it. Okay? And I don't have to look. I don't have to take it off the flats every time. It's geared. Okay, I just put it on once. It's kind of like the ratcheting call it on the OF1400 and OF2200, right? It's a ratcheting. You save time instead of putting it on the flats and removing it and then going to the next flats. Okay, so that's that for the, the gear part. Now, as they go through this, we're going to bring this into more festival. I'm going to show you a couple of calibrations on stuff. All right, so we get the stuff. Oh, so, this is my cool thing about this. Look. Look at the size of that slotted screw. Hey, Big D, can we get that over here? Yep. Look at the size of that. See how it's narrow right there? So I don't know if you know this, but this is a true cabinet maker's uh, screwdriver where it's on the, on the shaft here, it continues all the way down, all right, where this is not a slotted uh, cabinet maker, okay, where it flares out like that. But, they, you know, somebody asked me one time, what's the difference between a cabinet maker screwdriver and a regular slotted screwdriver? It's just that the shaft is continued all the way down. Now, where do you use that? I know the perfect place for this, right here, okay? And I've taught you this in, uh, I think it was episode, like, five or six, right, on the track saw essentials. I showed you how to connect guide rails, right? So guess where the slotted screw goes? Right here, Okay. It's perfect for it. So when you put the, the two um, rail connectors on there, I always offset them. And what I'll do is I'll shimmy it in there. So when you connect rails, you look, you put a little bit of space in there. And then you take the track saw. And I'm going to slide this around so you can see it right here. Okay? And with that little bit of space, see these two cams? Let me lift this up so you can see it a little bit better. Okay? Look, I could take that. And those two cams bring the important rib into alignment. And I could just take that and tighten the screw here and tighten the screw here. And, and this is the perfect Festool screwdriver for that. Whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> All right, good. So there you go on that. There's an application. Okay, what else do I got? Whew, okay, I'm going to pull this out. Because I'm going to tell you right now, look at all the different sizes you have for hexes on the metric side. You get a 2, 2.5, 3, 4, a 5, a 6, an 8, and a 10. Okay, anybody who's ever been to class, you know my favorite number, right? It's the 5, 5 millimeter. Okay, it's simple. <laughs> this 5 millimeter, you have one 5 millimeter hex key. You can fix a lot and calibrate a lot of daggone things in the Festool system. Look, the parallel guides, those two screws when you adjust this right here. We did that in the, um, the FS guide rail. You can use this, the 5 millimeter, for what? It's got a ball in. Look, you can also, if you forget, on your, that's the screw that you use to change your blade on the ABBA. It's 5 millimeter. You know one lives right here on the, uh, the TS saw, and the, the TS-75 also has one. So you could change the blade with that, And if, if you ever happen to lose that. That's the 5 millimeter. Whoo! Okay, now, a couple other things. The 4 millimeter, where do you use that? Right over here. Watch, 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 watch. Over here, Chris. Okay? That's the, that's the screw for adjustments for the what? The knockdown fasteners for the DF700, it's a four millimeter hex. And that's what's nice about a ball, a ball joint on a hex key because you can get into those tight spots like that and just virtually take that right off, just like that. Okay, so that's the four millimeter. I'm gonna put that back before I lose it. Three millimeter, right here. And you know which you could use a three millimeter for. Okay, check this out. All your adjustments, on what? On the end of your, what? Domino 500 connectors. And in here, look, that's a three millimeter. Okay, so there you go. So your Domino 500 connectors are a three millimeter. All right, the 2.5, I'm not gonna go into, but the two millimeter, look how small that is. Where would you use that in a Festool system? Uh, Carvex. No. no, no, guess what? The Cavex is a 2.5. Oh, that's right. 2 the 5. two millimeter, let me slide that out so I can get access to that. Tilt it out and take it out. And I don't know if I've ever covered this before. But <coughs> if we look at the Domino 500, right? 
And Big D, let me see if you can get this. Can you see this right in here? Let me just flip it over. You see this little flap? Yep. If that ever gets in the way, okay, there's a two millimeter hex right here. And you can what? Retract it permanently like that. Or temporarily if it ever gets in the way. So there's a reason for the two millimeter. And That's look, cool. that all comes in the kit in a really nice storage plastic uh, holder for you. Oh, boy. <laughs> all right. So I get this question all the time. I've done video after video. I used to show this in every single training class. I'm going to grab a posi drive screwdriver, okay? And I'm going to zim over right over here because I think Big D, you have a good shot of this, okay? I'm going to pull up these two screws, all right? And let me know if you're getting it right yep. here, okay? Good. See it? This is a Phillips in my right hand. Right here is a posi drive screw. They look similar, but if you look at the posi drive, there's little extra lines. Can you get that? Yep. Okay. So where those, you see a lot of these screws in what we call frameless cabinetry, but it's also the adjustment screws. Get a picture of that, D? Yes, sir. Okay. That, that, those extra lines designate it's for a posi drive. Because the posi drive, let me grab this, has these extra ribs in here or tines. Okay? So if you're ever doing adjustments on a cabinet, all right? Say you're trying to move the hinge up or down or in and out or compensating for yaw. All right? Yaw. That, yaw. Okay? Yaw of the cabinet door. Okay? Check it out. The posi drive seats perfect. That's the right screwdriver for those adjustments. <coughs> Excuse me. Because it seats all the way down in that screw. And if you notice right here, as I move it up and down on that hinge plate, you can adjust the bottom and top reveal of a cabinet. The, the Phillips doesn't fit all the way out all the way down. And I used to hear in um, in uh, the cabinet industry, I used to hear that the Phillips is always stripping out these screws. It's because it's a posi drive. So know the difference, all right? And it'll make your job a lot easier. Okay, so I talked a lot about the Imperial gear wrenches, all right? But here's the one that somebody, oh, let's do this first. The adjustable wrench, it's really heavy duty, okay, really comfortable adjust really easy and i'll show you there's a scale on here yes it's in metric on both of them all right now this is a geared wrench like i said okay have you ever ever been in a tight spot okay well you got a screw right here and hopefully this works out where i got to get at this screw and a drill doesn't get in there if, hang on one second give me one second i'm going to get a drill really quick and I need to back out that screw. And I don't have my what? Right angle chuck. I can't get in there to really to get it out. But what I can do is I could take, and you know this, it's always a quarter inch across the flat on, whether it's our tip or any one inch tip. Same thing with Centro Tech. It's still a quarter inch. So I could take a Centro Tech and I could put it right on here. And you see that? I can get in those really, really, really tight spots. What if the, another board came right across here and I couldn't get my right angle chuck in? I could still access it with that one inch tip, just like this, look. And I could tighten it and loosen it, just like that. So I thought I'd show you that. It's a great application for that quarter inch gear, geared end. All right, and it's also, they're also quite thin. All right, so. <laughs> okay, I promised Chris I'd do this one. And another great application for that longer flat is so you can open up your paint cans and lacquer thinner. <laughs> All right, another great application. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted, we just wanted to show you the new, because everybody's calling in what exactly comes in the limited edition hand tool sets. And hopefully I covered it. Did I cover everything? Let's look. I got a lot of stuff set up here. Let's look. Yeah, I think I covered all of it. Oh, wait a minute. 
Do you know that the domino connectors, okay, on the flats is, guess what, a quarter inch. So you can do this. You can grab the three millimeter hex, like this, when you're sending, uh, doing the center post. So you need the metric set and the imperial set, because good, look, it's across what? The flats. So I could put that right in there. It's a quarter inch. So I could take that, and if I'm in a tight spot, right, I'm just going to tighten that up. Let's get it all the way in. There we go. I loosened it too much. But if I'm right at the end here, whoa, that was, look, I can really get that torque on there and make sure both of those are together. So it, there's all kinds of value in all these hand tools. So I hope this helped. Um, who is the OEM on wrenches and drivers? That's a question I do not know. Okay, cool. Uh, let me just mention this about who, who it is. I don't know. I'll say that again, but I will tell you this. They are real. The fit and finish on these is fantastic. They're so smooth. That gearing is so fine on there. And hopefully you can hear that. It is really, really fine. There's, there's super duper. That's all I'll say about that. Okay, so, wow, look at all the folks today. Um, I guess it's time to wrap up. <laughs> hey, Minnie, I'm doing pretty good on time. I'm not that long-winded like I usually am. Okay, so let's call out everybody. And if I forget you, I apologize. Apologize. Okay, because we love you guys. We got Winchester, Virginia, New York. That must be Brian from Helena, Helena, Alabama. I think it's Brian Levitt. Okay, we have Cali, Columbia, South Carolina. We got Arizona. We got Elliot. That must be Elliot, Maine. That must be you, Chris. We got New Smyrna Beach, Florida. We got Lithuania. Solius, you're watching. Okay, we got Regina, Saskatchewan. We get Cape Cod, Massachusetts, right on the horn. We have Yorkshire, England. We have Malta. We have Pinehurst, North Carolina. Elgin, South Carolina. Bozeman, Montana. Wiltshire, UK. We have Houston, Texas. Netherlands, times two. We have Henderson, Kentucky. The French Alps. Woo! We have UK, San Diego. Manila. The Thriller from Manila. We have Hatfid, South Dakota. South Dakota. We have Suwa Memesta. What is that, Minnie? Okay, we have Suwa Memesta. My pronunciation's horrid. We have Raymond, Maine, Baltimore, Maryland, Toronto, Chicago, Ukraine, West Sussex, England. We have Belgium. <laughs> we have Montreal. Dundee City, Ohio, New Haven, Connecticut, Shrewsbury, UK. We have so Southern California, Louisville, Kentucky. Mini keeps writing. I'm cool that we have Bloomington, Indiana. Go IU. We have Paris, France, Richmond, Kentucky. Gary Jenkins. Gary, how the heck are you? All right. We have St. Paul, Minnesota, Maryland. We have New Zealand, Norway, Russia, Oregon. Holy Toledo. Do we have Toledo? We have Brisbane. That must be what? Australia. Cool. Man. What's next week? Oh, boy. Okay. So, everybody, if you like the domino drawer box last week, stay tuned because next week we have the domino door. We're going to do a shaker flat panel door with the domino, with the domino accent. And it's one of the simplest cabinet doors you've ever made. And we're going to do it right here on Festool Live Friday at noon. We have Pennsylvania and we have Mars. Who's from Mars? Okay. <laughs> okay, everybody. Um, thank you for tuning in on a Wednesday um, from all our hearts. For everybody here in the U.S., happy Thanksgiving. By the way, from around the world, happy Thanksgiving. We love you guys. Uh, we miss you. Uh, it's just us here. <laughs> so thanks again. Boy, it's Wednesday, and you guys all tuned in. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. makes our day, and it will make our four-day weekend. Woo! Thank you. <laughs>